I was really excited for this comic when I first got it. I was like, man, I can't wait to see Tim Vigil draw ninjas, and I don't think it'll look. Did you know that Tim Vigil did a ninja comic? Yeah, he did. And uh, we're going to take a look at it today because on this channel we are huge Tim Vigil fans. And uh, I mean, look at that cover. That is an amazing cover right there. Absolutely love it. I love the insane, uh, not understanding how muscles work at this time. But it looks cool. It looks very, very cool. This has to be early Tim Vigil to my knowledge. I mean, it's Silver Wolf, so it's definitely early Tim Vigil. And of course, in usual, typical Silver Wolf, uh, you know, history or fashion uh a cover so nice you get it twice so there you go and then of course we open up to some amazing tim visual artwork i don't know the story of this book i probably will never read this book i don't read very many silver wolf comics or sometimes i don't even read a lot of tim visual comics but i look at the art i take it in and then of course it inspires me and we start out with this awesome perspective drawing I'm guessing establishing shot not quite certain what's going on there I, I know it's buildings but it's like a weird perspective this has to be very very early yeah I mean 87 I think grips or Faust I think Faust comes out like two or three years later so we're still in these uh I feel like we're still in these learning stages, but look at that twist, baby. Looks great. And that uh, that character looks very, very cool. I'm actually surprised this character never took off. I think this is the only issue. I know it teases for issue two in the back, but I believe this is the only issue. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing, excuse me. Hopefully I'm not coughing right into the microphone. I'm trying to cough away from the microphone, but yeah. Awesome anatomy. Awesome face. I mean, very cool. I love that uh, double page spread there. Yeah. Anyways, of course, like every Tim Visual comic, we are going to have a lot of gore and violence and a lot of black and white. So, and a lack of backgrounds, but that's totally cool because this comic looks awesome. By the way, great boots there awesome drawing of boots I, again when you want to be an artist i've said this in multiple videos you want to become an artist you got to learn to draw everything so you might have to put in like 20 hours of boots before you kind of go oh okay now i know how to draw a boot sometimes even more maybe you have to put in 100 hours of drawing boots but uh yeah man i love i love this style i love this early tim visual style just so cool and everybody's buff no matter what they're wearing they have Tons of muscles. Just such a cool character. I mean, I love that. I love the storytelling. Kind of looks like Batman there a bit. You know, I don't know if this was them trying to create their own version of Batman. I'm saying, imagine them saying they're going, we got, we got ourselves a Batman. But uh, not as iconic as Batman. Um, close. I'm just kidding. It's not even close. But uh, yeah, man, look at that. Look at that drawing there. So cool, you know, and you have this character wearing all black, so you have to black out everything in inks. Yeah, so cool. And I love that too, like the cape coming in. A lot of cape stuff going on on the movement of the cape. cape. <coughs> Sorry, I can't stop coughing, I apologize. Allergies, terrible. And we have an awesome splash page there. I mean, this character looks fucking cool. I love, I love these, like, very... Was he working 11 by 17 at this point? I don't even know. Because it just looks... This character looks like he was drawn small. And was, like, never... I don't know. It's just, hopefully he was working 11 by 17, but I'm not sure. And look at that face. It's so it's so awesome seeing how much Tim Vigil grew. 
I love looking at this early stuff. Because it makes me feel good about myself as an artist. I go, if you put... I mean, I mean that does not look very good. I mean, maybe Tim Vigil just stopped drawing this book. And they handed it off to somebody else. I don't know. But, uh... I mean, that looks... This must have been a rush job, I'm, ima I'm imagining. Yeah. Very simple, like, drawings, too, in the foreground. That looks cool. And it looks like this, like, crazy, like... I don't know, sometimes it looks like Tim Vigil and sometimes it doesn't. But it's Tim Vigil, apparently. Yeah. Look at that elongated... I, I hate when you're trying to figure that out and you make that that chest, like the torso too big and then the body looks long and it looks terrible. And look at that action there. That chest, man. That's a Rob Liefeld chest. Coming out way too far and that head's so far back. Man. And then, of course, we're going to end it with an awesome double page spread and then we get that separation in the middle and then we got our guy there i was really excited for this comic when i first got it i was like man i can't wait to see tim vigil draw ninjas and i don't think it looks i mean it looks good but it looks very amateurish to me it does but and then of course we have a bio here in the back and uh Kevin Masters, this was what, 87? Now I'm not a historian by any stretch of the imagination, but is this, is this where Street Fighter got the name Ken Masters from? Because it was before Street Fighter. I don't know, I'm just talking shit. But uh, we have a whole thing about him, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun to look at early Tim Vigil work, because early Tim Vigil work is fun to look at. That's a great drawing, by the way. A lot of time was put into that. So, yeah. And then, of course, we, like uh, Silver Wolf Fashion, we have two back covers as well. So, it's a way to sell a 22-page uh, comic at a 26-page comic. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, so that was just early Tim Vigil. Wanted to take a look at it. Tim Vigil doing uh, ninjas. Very interesting stuff. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And like, comment, and subscribe if you can. And we're going to take a look at more Tim Vigil. I have tons of Tim Vigil uh, that, that I have to go through. So I'm pretty much trying to buy everything the guy's ever made. And I'm kind of getting there, but then there's some stuff that I don't know about, so I'm just trying to figure it out. It's very tough when you have, you know, an indie creator like this because it's difficult to know what he didn't do and what he did do. But this is kind of just an early, early work of his, probably a little bit before. No, probably, I think it might have been after Grips. I'm not sure because I don't remember the exact date on Faust or Grips. So I think Grips might be 86, but I could be wrong. So... Yeah, that was just kind of a fun little quick look at Tim Vigil.